I'm Thomas Tedder from Old Faithful Holsters. We help gun owners conceal their weapons comfortably and easily. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to wear and use an inside the waistband appendix holster or IWB. Now I'd like to point out that my pistol is unloaded, there's no magazine, and the chamber is empty. When you practice, you should take the same precautions. I'd also like to note that there is nobody behind the camera, so there's nobody there to get hurt. Okay, so first we need to understand exactly what an inside the waistband appendix holster is. It's called an inside the waistband or IWB holster because it's between your pants and your body. So the gun is actually inside the waistband. Now the appendix IWB holster is typically worn between 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock which is what makes it an appendix carry. If you picture a clock around your body, 12 o'clock is at your navel, you can see where the positions are. Here's 9 o'clock on the left side and 3 o'clock here on the right side. So appendix carry can be worn anywhere in between, which is your appendix region. The exact position where you wear the holster will depend upon your individual body type and preferences. So just play around with it and see what you prefer you'll have to try it in different positions and you'll figure out what you like best. Now I'm going to explain this for a right-handed person but a lefty will do the exact same thing, you just use the opposite hand. The appendix holster is typically worn on the strong side of the body which is the right side for most people. At this position it's normally positioned as a neutral cant, meaning that the holster is straight up and down and the pistol will be withdrawn straight up. Now when you move the holster over to the left side this is typically called a cross draw. Most people probably think of a cross draw as having a reverse cant, which means the gun is tilted back towards the right side. This is great for an outside the waistband holster or OWB, but it doesn't really work that well for inside the waistband. What happens is that the grip of the pistol gets rotated down too close to the belt and it makes it hard to get a good grip on it. Another problem is that the muzzle rotates up towards the belt and this puts too much of the handgun's weight above the belt and it's not very secure. So if you want to carry cross draw with an IWB, we believe that it's best to use a neutral cant so it's straight up and down and you'll just pull your pistol straight out from this side. Now whether or not your shirt's tucked in, it's not going to make much of a difference with this technique, but you should practice the same way that you normally carry. Now with your left hand you want to reach down and grab a big firm handful of your shirt and really yank it high and out of the way and it won't matter if your shirt's tucked in or not just pull hard and fast you want to make sure that your shirt is completely out of the way before you reach for your gun. So now that your shirt's out of the way find the gun. At this point your hand should be directly above the pistol. Get a good firm grip on it and you want to leave your trigger finger off of the trigger. You need to have your firing grip before leaving the holster. Now pull the pistol straight up Twist your pistol forward and you can actually fire right here from this position if you need to. Now you'll let go of your shirt with your left hand, you'll bring your left hand over to meet your right hand and then you'll bring the pistol forward. You'll fully extend your arms into your shooting position and you can actually start firing your, firing your pistol when it's close to your body and you can keep firing this all the way through this maneuver. So you want to make sure to practice this over and over until you can do it without even thinking about it. Because in a real life situation, you don't want to have to think your way through this. You just want to be able to react. One final note with this style of hol holster is that the gun will take up some of the room in your pants. If you wear really tight pants, this option may not be right for you. Some people choose to buy pants that are about one size too big than what they normally wear. But most people actually find this isn't necessary. If you want to know if an IWB holster is right for you before you spend your money, one good test is to unload your gun, stick it in your waistband, and if you can fit it in there easily, you should be okay. If your pants are too tight to fit the gun without even a holster in there, you probably need to buy some bigger pants first, or you might want to consider an outside the waistband holster. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and comment.